Hey folks, Clutch here, and this is your Farm Sim update. And today, we're going everything you need to know about Farming Simulator 22. Everything that's been announced and all the top features we know about to date for Farming Sim 22. Got a few things to go over. In fact, let's go over the top six. The top six things for Farm Sim 22. Let's start off with the first update, which was, well, in the teaser trailer, we learned that seasonal cycles was going to be a thing in Farming Simulator 22. So the Seasons mod was available for Farm Sim 17, Farm Sim 19. We are now moving towards seasonal cycles for Farming Simulator 22, which means this is a base game feature available for all platforms for Farming Sim 22. Now we have seen some, some pictures of what this is going to look like. We're gonna see some spring, some summer, some fall and winter scenes of Farm Sim 22 and what seasonal cycles will do to it. But there's not a lot else known to this. It is a different aspect to seasons. However, we don't know a lot else to do with it. That being said, there is more information and they might have let us know a little bit about this. For instance, it has been confirmed that they will change the different scenes depending on the season. So in the summer, you may see lawn chairs out and in the winter, some of that stuff may be moved away. So potentially barbecue, lawn chairs. Could we see Christmas lights? Could we see that type of stuff come out during the winter? And maybe some of this stuff be moved away during the summer. Who knows what extent this is? What does this mean for modders? Can modders take advantage of this and change what certain buildings do during different seasonal cycles? It has been confirmed that while well, this is possible, but to what extent we do not know yet. So more information will be coming on this shortly. However, right now we do know it is a possibility that this is something we could see and that seasonal cycles is definitely a base game function and it is turn offable. So there you go, all platforms, seasonal cycles. Next up, production chains will be in base game Farming Sim 22. This is very similar, well, in a way to global companies. However, this is called production change, which is base game and will be available to everybody once again. So instead of just going to sell your products directly to a co-op or to a sell point, this will now allow you to go and take your products and sell them to, for instance, a flour mill and there you will be able to go and sell your flour to a different point and make more money. Same with sugar, butter. There's a couple of different other options there as well. It's also been confirmed that you don't necessarily need to do the heavy lifting yourself. You can hire someone to pick the goods up and sell them for you, of course, for a fee. It's up to you on how you decide you want to do this. If you don't want to deal with this aspect of it, you don't necessarily need to. You can still sell your goods the traditional way. This is just another way to make more money potentially and just change things up uh, into a different way. Once again, I'm very curious to see where the modders go with this. This could be an interesting aspect for that. There's more information going to be coming on this in the coming weeks and days, I'm sure. Can't wait to hear more about this as well. Base game Farming Simulator 22 maps. Well, we know for a fact now that there will be three maps that are included with base game Farming Simulator 22. Very similar to, well, Farm Sim 19, honestly. Well, we're gonna get, well, two maps that are come base game and one that will be a rebuild of a farming simulator 19 map the rebuild will be Erlengrat. that is the alpine expansion dlc map that came out well earlier this year now note that this is an upgraded map they haven't exactly said what the upgrade is going to be it sounds like it may revolve more around the well the company's side of things it's possible the production chains may be a part of the reason this map has to be redesigned but nothing confirmed there there's just rumors and speculation on that side However, the two other maps, we know we have one North American map and we have one European map. And we do have information well, on the North American map. Now we have gone into great deal in some other videos on this North American map. It is going to be called Elm Creek and it's inspired by the US Midwest region. It's offering large open vast fields with lots of space to build farms on. As with most farm sim base maps, there will be some kind of a town based around it. We've got some pretty pictures of, well, a baseball stadium, which is kind of cool to see in Farming Simulator. Sounds like we might have some gushing waterfalls. we got a proper highway, underpasses, and hill areas even to build on. Can't wait to see more about this. But even with the screenshots we've seen, very excited to see where this map goes on. Hopefully we'll find more information on the European map in the next couple of weeks here. Next, we need to talk about mods, as mods for Farming Simulator has been, well, a staple since Farming Simulator 15, and especially in Farm Sim 17 and Farm Sim 19, where it has really kept the community going with building new products and new things to implement into Farming Simulator. This will be no different in Farming Simulator 22. Mods will be supported much like they have been for Farming Simulator 19. We expect mods to be absolutely amazing for Farming Sim 22. 
We'll see where the community decides to go with this. There's already been several modders who have queued in saying that, well, number one, they will upgrade their current mods to have them included into Farming Sim 22 at some point. Also, there's been some map makers even said they're building maps right now. They'll be planned for Farming Simulator 22. So the modding community was definitely gung-ho and we'll be going straight ahead for Farming Sim 22. Next up, guys, we have a new Giants engine for Farming Simulator 22. Currently on Farm Sim 19, we're running on Giants Engine 8. Now we'll be running on Giants Engine 9. Now, it sounds like it's more of an upgrade because it's still the Giants en engine. But just take in mind that this is a fairly substantial change. Most notably, guys, we're going to be getting multi-threaded optimizations, texture streaming, which will actually make things a little bit better since you're only going to be rendering in what you're looking at, rather than right now, when you look around the entire map, the entire thing has to render in before you can kind of look at it. And also, parallax occlusion culling, which is the new ground texture tech for Farming Simulator 22. Just take into account, this isn't 3D, it's something different. We're going to find more information on this soon, hopefully in the next month or so, Fingers crossed. So with all these increases in tech into this new Giants engine, it sounds like there's going to be a lot more complex mod and customizations that will push the limits of even last gen consoles to be able to get improved slot usage, even with the current setup. Can't wait to see more information about that. We'll let you know whenever there's more info available. And for our last piece of need no information, the collector's edition for Farming Simulator 22 has been announced and it's going to come with a beacon. That's right. Well, for PC players, of course, unfortunately, console players, you don't have that as an option. Collector's editions are never available for the console version, PC only. But PC players, you're going to have a beacon that you'll be able to plug into your PC. And whenever you activate your beacons in game, this beacon will activate in your room. How cool is that? The Collector's Edition is also going to come with some modding video tutorials. It's going to come with, of course, the PC game, two A2 posters, the beacon light, and the 24 branded stickers all into this one collector's edition. And that there should be about all the information you need to know, folks. The rest of this information, the new stuff that's gonna be coming out will be later on this month at FarmCon, July 21st to July 23rd. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Of course, Farm Sim 22 will be released Q4 of this year. No exact date yet. We don't have prices on any of the editions as of yet. It's gonna be released with 400 different pieces of machinery, 100 different authentic agricultural brands. And guys, the biggest thing about this, we haven't heard anything about yet is potentially cuter animals. What does that mean? Is that baby cows? Sounds like baby cows to me, I'm just saying. No, but we'll see. There's been a lot of other information that's been teased towards us. For example, better AI, more realistic sounds. Who knows exactly how deep this is going to go? We'll find more information out very soon. I think the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be wrapping things up extensively. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss any of this information that we're gonna be posting on Farm Sim 22. Can't wait to dive more into this stuff. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you slap the like on the way out and we will catch you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.